huge grocery haul from Costco. Ta-da! Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ms. Ming on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, and Costco haul videos in today's video. As you can see, blah, blah, it's a huge grocery haul from Costco. Ta-da! I know, uh, we actually spend a lot of money at Costco this week, um, not just because of the inflation. I noticed that the prices at Costco, oh my gosh, because there are some of the items that I regularly buy they're like 9.99 they used to be 9.99 but now they're 12 dollars and 48 cents which is about a 25 percent raise 25 percent increase of the price on those groceries like food items which is really really crazy but there are also some sales deals going on so it's not too bad so i bought a bunch of things that are actually on sale but i noticed that a lot of like the daily food items are actually <laughs> getting way more expensive. Another reason why we spent $300, a little bit more than $300, is because we're hosting a Father's Day party. So we're inviting eight people to our home. So we're buying some vegetables, some tenderloin steak, and also some dessert items. So those together is an increase of $140. So usually we spend about like $160, $170 to $200. At Costco so usually we don't spend this much but growing up I actually don't have a dad so I've never I've, we never really celebrate Father's Day except for Grandpa's Day okay I'm so sorry my cat was sneezing okay so let's get into today's haul I'm so excited we found some new items this time. Oh, recently I noticed that there are so many low carb items at Costco that's marketed as keto friendly um, some of my friends who are actually on keto diet, they said you can't eat all of these processed food because if you eat all of those, you're gonna eat more carbs than you can and you're gonna like not in the keto state anymore. So just be careful just because certain items are keto friendly doesn't mean that you can eat all of them at once in one day when you're on a keto diet. But I'm actually not on a keto diet, but I do want to make a conscious effort to eat less carbs. So the first item is from this friend, Kilo Life, Hilo? Hilo? Hello? <laughs> Hilo Life. And this is actually Keto Your Way nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips. But they're not regular tortilla chips, they're actually almond flavored tortilla style chips. So I'm actually really, really interested in this. Because if you look at the nutrition facts, of course it's made of like a lot of cheese powder. So it's 10 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, because those are from the cheese, I believe. But if you look at the actual total carbohydrates, it's only five grams of carbohydrates each serving, includes two grams of dietary fiber, which is something that you can't actually absorb. So it's only one gram of sugar. So this is a very, very interesting item because it's keto chips, keto natural flavored tortilla chips. So let's try it. I'm passionate. let's look at the chips. It looks kind of similar to the regular nacho chips although i do want to say it's a little bit thicker because it's made of almond flour i don't know let's try this mm. the flavor is really good it tastes just like the regular nacho cheese flavor tortilla chips but i would say the texture is a little bit different you want to try it too a little bit different i want to say what do you think of the texture the flavor is really good it's a natural cheese flavor that's like very normal it's like oh my gosh i couldn't even tell on my first bite i was like woo, so good and then i was like flavor great texture weird <laughs> texture it has a little bit of the crummy taste crumby crumbly taste what do you think i need to eat more to evaluate it but it tastes good right it actually tastes good but it's just not normal tortilla chip texture. Is yeah. Enough? Texture weird. Flavor good. Flavor super good. Super, super good. It's oh, a burst of flavor. But then as I'm chewing on it, it's like... 
a little bit crumbly in the end. It's worth the crumbly texture because you're not eating that much carbs. These are almond flour, so hmm, it's a really good replacement. But it's definitely you can definitely tell the difference. All right, moving on. Do I have nacho cheese? So the next item we're gonna eat this tonight for dinner, and this is the cooked garlic pepper seasoned drumstick. Ta da! This is from Costco. It's pre cooked. You could just heat it up in the microwave or whatever. Super good value. There are one, two, three, four, eight, nine drumsticks in this container, and it's five dollars and ten cents. It used to be four dollars something. So there is an increase of like maybe twenty percent, but still, from four dollars to five dollars, I can accept that. But from ten dollars to twelve forty eight. I don't know about that. I think with inflation, sometimes the prices they increase by the percentage, right? But if it's like one dollar increase, even though the percentage is twenty percent, it feels like nothing. Versus if the increase is also twenty, twenty-five percent, but it's increased by like two dollars and forty-eight cents, I can definitely fill in my wallet because that's like a coffee on its own. So highly recommend this one. It has the garlic flavor. It's just by the rotisserie chicken aisle and by the ribs, and this one is our favorite because it's very, very flavorful and it's very tender and juicy as well. So it's well cooked, well seasoned, very good value. You can't get this value anywhere else. So very good item to get in Costco. Highly recommend. Just, We're gonna film a dedicated review video after. This haul video because I'm very, very, very interested in what it tastes like. I haven't tried this. This is my first time purchasing the guilt-free noodle alternative. This is the ready-to-eat meal: Japanese curry noodles, and it's gluten-free. It's vegan. It's paleo-friendly. It's non-GMO. It sounds like a dream, right? It meets all of these check marks, and it's only 80 calories per serving. <sighs> If this one tastes good, oh my gosh! Japanese curry is a little bit different from Indian curry and a little bit different from Thai curry. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit thicker. So if if when you cook it, you're like, why is this curry sauce not the same as the curry soup or curry noodles that you get from the Thai restaurant? It's really depending on like which one you're used to. So just letting you know, like every different place they have a little bit different twist when it comes to curry noodles. And these noodles are made of fiber. These noodles are not. 97% water and 3% fiber. So essentially, if you look at the nutrition facts, the total carbon hydrates is only like 14 grams each serving, including three grams of fiber and nine grams of sugar, including seven grams of added sugar, which is in the curry sauce, I would assume. So this is definitely not keto, but it's still pretty low carb. And it's made of this thing called shirataki noodles. Shirataki noodles. I hope it tastes good. I hope the texture is good. But look at this. It's gluten free. I know a lot of people who are uh, allergic to gluten. So this one. <laughs> way to go, way to go. So we're gonna make a dedicated video reviewing this item, but I'm very, very, very excited because it's healthy, low carb, and I hope it has good flavor. This is a repurchased item. This is from the brand BBGo, and this is the BBGo fully cooked mini wontons with chicken and cilantro. This one highly recommend. It's wontons that are super small. You can pan fry them, sear them, fry them, or make little wonton soup. I know the mini wontons. It's there's not a lot of stuffing, but the flavor is so good because it's chicken stuffing with that cilantro taste. It's so 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 good. It's very good for summer, and it's really good to sear them, like pan fry them, to add a little bit of crispiness on the wrap, and then you can put it on top of your Asian salad or whatever salad, and it's actually really really good. So highly recommend these chicken cilantro mini wontons. And if you can't eat pork, these are really good because it's made of chicken. Ta da! Here comes the meat or meats. Whatever you call it. So these are beef loin tenderloin steak, USDA prime. Of course, we need to serve our fathers the best prime tenderloins. I love tenderloins. That's why we bought this cut. I know we should have asked the fathers to choose. So we're celebrating my husband's father, which is my father-in-law, and also his sister-in-law's father, which is. 
his brother's father-in-law. So it's like a father-in-law's day for me since I don't have a father. I've only had Mother's Day, but not Father's Day. Okay, so here comes the corn. We're gonna do some outdoor grilling. And you can definitely buy the griller outdoor grilling thing from the brand Weber. Highly recommend that one. I think we saw that from Costco as well. It's definitely a great deal to buy it from Costco. So we're gonna make some sticks and we're gonna grill some corn and maybe some vegetables as well okay so another thing to buy it's a peach season again so i got some california grown white peaches Da -da, the whole case i know i you have to really love something to buy them from costco unless you have a big family but my family is just me and my husband so we got a lot of white peaches this is highly recommend actually we already filmed a dedicated video to review this one this is so good i actually got recommended by a friend and he's like try this Milton's thin and crispy cauliflower pizza it's so good and I think in California they actually had the three meat version of this but in San Antonio we only have the roasted vegetable one so these are vegetarian so my husband actually went to stores to buy actual pepperonis I don't like pepperonis which makes it easier I guess so these are vegetarian on its own these do not have any like pepperonis on top but you can definitely add any meats you want and it's actually very thin and crispy so the actual trick is to not to place the pizza directly on the pan but to put the pizza on the rack on the rack and rack on the pan so when you actually bake the pizza or roast the pizza or toast the pizza in the oven if there's a rack underneath the heated air can actually go into the crust it will make the pizza super crispy but if you just put it on a regular pan it's gonna get a little bit mushy in the very center of the pizza so that is a cooking trick when it comes to making cauliflower crust pizza always use a rack on top of a pan and put the pizza on top of the rack lesson learned so we got two. Oh my gosh I didn't know how expensive these cauliflower crust pizza is until I bought these from our local grocery store HEB a pizza by itself is eight dollars but at Costco it was on sale so each box is ten dollars right now and there are two pizzas in each box so it's like almost half of the price as our local grocery store so we got two since we can't make it to Costco every day so the next item we actually bought two of these items um, uh, for the party so these are products of Italy I love Costco because we can buy things from all over the world tiramisu da, da, da. have you tried this item this is actually the first time we bought this because we've tried the uh, lava cake the individual serving lava cake from Costco that one is absolutely amazing and I love those individually serving ones because like even if you don't finish you can take the rest home which is also great so we bought two of these so he, we're gonna consume one box tomorrow after our dinner but then he's gonna bring the other one to the office I told him not to buy two because you know desserts are not healthy it's too much sugar and he secretly secretly stole one I saw it he was like no I'm not gonna buy anything I'm just gonna try to look for something else and then he and then when we were checking out I was like wait did we buy two of these <sighs> Comment down below if your husband does something like that. Oh, these are actually made real glass. Yeah, that's how we like them. Yeah, Brandon, yeah. can we save the container? It's actually pretty good for like espresso shots. I don't yeah. care. As long as you can wash it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's good. I like tiramisu. From Cheesecake Factory. Mm. That one's super good. This one's good. It's very good. You know, yeah, I don't even, because they didn't even have like the normal cakes at Costco. Like, I guess everybody just bought everything. Right. <laughs> wow. The only thing they had. It's was, actually pretty was, good. It's not too muffins. sweet. They had a lot of muffins. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I think it tastes fine. Do you think your team is better or this one better? This one tastes better. This is only 200 calories. Hey, clinics because allergy season is off season for me because I'm always allergic to something so we got some tissue box tissue box tissue papers here comes the other tiramisu so we got two tiramisu I think I shared this item a long, long time ago because you don't have to buy it every single week this is the this is from the brand the Flens, and this is their wipe and clear lens wipes if you wear glasses especially like in summer I think everyone wears sunglasses and foam or 
your camera or things like that these are universal wipes to clean all lenses like including both your like eyeglasses lens and also like the lens I'm filming the video right now I use this to clean all of my lenses works like a charm so I bought these from Costco you can find these you can find these around like the nutrition supplement aisle sections so highly recommend I've been religiously buying this for like the past like four years I believe highly recommend it's not a Costco haul from me without the Caesar salad as you know we love Caesar salad and these ones are great value I think the ones in the back have better value than the ones in the actual container a plastic container so highly recommend this one haha <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for a long time I actually bought something from different brands from different stores and not online stores but eventually I bought these from Costco because they were on sale I think they were on sale for like four to six dollars the prices are going up because it used to be $29.99 but then I think last time I saw it was like $32.33 dollars but recently it's like six dollars off so now it's 26 dollars or something i don't know i don't remember the specific deals but if you see them on sale buy these because they could be really really expensive from the regular grocery store or whole foods or whatever you, wherever you want to buy these so essentially this is from the brand vital proteins and these are collagen peptides it's 20 grams of collagen per serving it's paleo and keto friendly and these are also grass fed I have two options in costco they have the chocolate and unflavored my recommendation is this unflavored unflavored because you can put it in your drink you can put it in your smoothie you can put it in your coffee and you genuinely cannot tell like you can't tell that you put protein powder because if you put like a lot of times when I put protein powder you can kind of tell especially if they're flavored but these are so thin because they're collagen peptides protein they're not regular protein it's very very thin to the point that you can't really tell it's in your drink so highly recommend essentially I read some online research paper about like consuming collagen peptides it's really beneficial to your skin and nails and things like that and also it's really beneficial for post-workout recovery so I used to have a really really bad sore after a good workout but after I started taking these every single day I don't have as much of soreness or joint problems it's because I felt like my muscles repair a little bit better because of the collagen protein that I've been taking of course check with your doctor before you consume I don't sell this I don't make commission by recommending it but it was just on sale I've been taking collagen peptides from other brands and it's been helping me a lot so I just want to share my experience got a bag of broccoli broccoli is my one of my favorite things I'm so excited this is the big J Costco provisions crab dip crab dip I'm so excited so tomorrow we're gonna eat some like crackers with this crab dip because I love crab I don't know about you guys I love crabs so this one looks pretty legit it does have a lot of fat but hey it's crab dip it's dip so we bought some keto crackers and we're gonna dip it into this crab dip I'm so excited to try tomorrow since we're serving it to our guests I'm not, not gonna open it today but if you have tried these please comment down below and share your experience it's crab dip from Costco it is a little bit salty mm -hmm. this one it tastes really good it's very crab taste I love crab this will be the one for you but it's a little bit too salty yeah but it's really good the flavor is really good it is the aftertaste is really salty but how do you recommend this one the keto cracker this is a repurchased item this one so 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 good highly recommend this is from the brand frankly fresh Ooh, frankly fresh and this is a chicken breast burrito bowls I bought these I think last year and they were so good I used to bring these to lunch because these are individually serving their three bowls right here and you can also steam some broccoli on the side it has chicken breast and some beans and a lot of cheese right here and the chicken in the bowl there are chicken breast white meat so if you're wondering like if you like chicken thighs or dark meat or white meat these are actually white meat each bowl contains 390 calories so this is basically 400 calories each bowl which is not bad at all for a burrito bowl um, it contains 10 grams of fat uh, 720 milligrams of sodium which is not true also 46 grams of carbs including 7 grams of fiber which is not bad and 30 grams of protein so I bought these because originally because it had contained 
contains a lot of protein and the flavor is so good it's very very creamy i featured this in a haul last year but we've been trying different items from costco and this time i saw it i was like okay i'm gonna buy this and eat them as lunch two items uh, i don't know like i think costco is going above and beyond when it comes to keto friendly items but a lot of my friends who are actually on keto diet they keep telling me that these are actually like these are keto friendly but if you overindulge in those then you're gonna break a keto diet but i don't know i don't care i just want to eat a little bit low carbs since i love carbs the most so i'm just trying to discipline myself not depriving myself of the things i like right so this is from the brand eno foods and i've tried several things from this brand previously i tried a keto friendly coconut clusters and those taste so good I actually brought them to my office you know every time I have cravings for something sweet I just eat those because I love coconut but this time I saw the gluten-free keto crackers gluten-free so these are made of pumpkin seeds almonds and hemp seeds so I plan to serve this tomorrow and we're gonna dip the crackers into the craftive. It's gonna taste so good. I'm actually excited just thinking about it. Each serving is 100 calories with 7 grams of fat, um, 7 grams of carbs, including 2 grams of fiber, no added sugar, and 3 grams of protein. I do think it's a high fat, high protein item, low carbs. Whether it's keto or not, I don't know. So what it contains is pumpkin seeds, coconut, sunflower seeds, almonds, and hemp seeds. All of these are very, very healthy. So to me, I don't really care that much about like whether it's actually keto. I care the most about like the nutrition. If I'm eating something very nutritious or I'm just eating some junk food. So if I'm gonna eat some junk food, I might as well choose some healthier options. So I got these crackers. We bought a fruit bowl and some cherries. The fruit bowl used to be $7.90, but now they're like nine dollars and ninety cents so it's a two dollar increase on the fruit bowl so everything is getting pricier and pricier except for my salary so my paycheck didn't didn't see any increase but everything i buy is more expensive so if you could do me a favor hit the thumbs up button and don't skip the ads i may actually make a extra feel sense to cover my food call this is another snack item that's like keto friendly i think yeah so this is the parm crisp so parmesan crisp cheese crisps so it says within these there's some dry roasted nuts and also some cheese crisp which is amazing and this is the ranch flavor i've had some parmesan crisp before but i've never had like a ranch flavor thing so i don't know we're gonna try it out so if you look at the nutrition facts, each serving has 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 9, gram, 9 grams of protein, and 6 grams of carbs. Within the 6 grams of carbs, there's 3 grams of fiber, only 1 gram of sugar. So we're going to try it out. There we go. This is what it looks like within this bag. You can see some roasted nuts, but also some cheese crisps some cheese crisps so let's try this it's very flavorful mm. i like the cheese crisp this is actually really good nine grams of protein high protein high fat low carb item when you eat the nuts you can actually taste the cheese so it's like a combination of cheese flavored nuts nuts flavored cheese i don't know but this one actually tastes pretty good and it's really filling as well because it's made of cheese so if you want some work hour office snacks this one will be the one for you so you can eat something sweet or this is like savory like salty i bought a pantene five in one conditioner it was on sale i buy these religiously especially in summer i think pantene is a really good brand and costco always have them on sale so i only buy things when they're on sale when they're not on sale i wait until they have sales but usually they have sales for these items like every three months so it's perfect for me to stock up yeah Alrighty, that's it for today's haul i hope you enjoyed it i think the majority of the cost goes to that beef tenderloin because you know prime meat are very expensive but we also want to serve our guests the best 
of the best. I hope you enjoyed today's haul. I hope you enjoyed tasting new items with me, new snack items, and also check out like what I buy from Costco. If you have anything that you recommend from Costco, also comment down below. I know Costco is kind of tricky. Every store has different items based on the region, the locations, but if you have something that you really love, I would really appreciate if you give us your recommendations. Even if it's not available in our store, I think it's always good to share our favorite things to others and spread that love and positivity. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're a father or if you have a father, happy Father's Day. I hope you are having a wonderful day. If you go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. It really helps me out for the YouTube algorithm if you could thumbs up this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Father's Day. Bye.